Hi there, I'm Julie Crefield from the Fat Girls Guide to Running and today we're asking the question, what is a sweeper bus? So, I've never been picked up by the sweeper bus, but I have seen it many, many times. Now, depending on the size of race that you enter, there may or may not be a sweeper bus, but there will be some kind of um, vehicle or bike or group of people that, you know, are the last um, part of the run procession. It's probably the best way to describe it. So a, a big race, it will most definitely be a sweeper um, bus. And the job of that sweeper bus is to go behind the slowest runners and they normally start a little while after the race is finished and they go, they travel, travel at a very um, consistent pace, a slow pace. Um, and the idea is if anybody is injured or thinks that they can't finish the race, they can then jump on the bus and the bus will take them to the finish line. It also acts as a marker for the time that the race organizers have allowed for the roads to be closed. And this is quite key really, because there's a lot of debate about whether there should be cut off points, you know, cut off times um, for uh, marathons. Um, and it's, it's mainly marathons and half marathons where you have this problem. It's not so much on the smaller races. Um, so the sweeper bus can go past you and this happens, I've seen it happen at the London Marathon as you have all the runners come through and then it kind of, the crowds kind of die out a little bit. So there's still runners coming through, but not so many. And then the sweeper bus comes um, and everybody starts clearing up behind it and there are still runners. So it's a really kind of awkward, slightly depressing <laughs> space and um the first time i did uh, the london marathon i never saw the sweeper bus the second time i did and it took me an extra hour uh, that marathon and i did see the sweeper bus so i could see it on the opposite side of the road and i knew it was chasing me or that's at least how it felt there was another time where i had a, a kind of really funny experience so i went to geneva to do the geneva half marathon and I didn't know really what the crowds would be like, what level you know of ability the other runners would be. And literally within the first three or four minutes, I found myself at the very back of the pack. And I could hear this noise going beep, 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 beep. And when I looked behind me, it was like a van. And that van was the last vehicle, that was the sweeper truck. Um, and you know, I had this moment in my mind where I was like, God, I can't run for another 13 miles with this noise behind me. Um, and it really kind of rocked my confidence. And I had two choices, really. I could let it ruin my race. And, you know, Geneva is the most beautiful, spectacular half marathon I've ever done. Or I could use it as a motivator to kind of go a little bit faster and perhaps not be the last runner. And that's exactly what I did. So I upped the pace, which is kind of unheard of for me. I normally, you know, just plod. Um, and I started overtaking people, the people that I could see ahead, so that I didn't have to be near that beep, beep, beep. So to, for me, it worked as a motivator. And I know for a lot of people, their motivation is to not get taken over by the sweeper truck. So that's what it is. It's basically a vehicle. Sometimes it's um, people on a bike. So if it's a smaller event, um, it'll be people on a bike. And what they'll normally do is if, as they overtake you, they'll ask you if you're okay. And sometimes they may ask you to um, move onto the pavement and continue your race on the pavement as they open up um, the roads. So a good bit of advice if you're worried about this at all, because it can be a little bit nerve, um, you know, it could be quite nerve wracking. Um, if you're worried about coming last in a race, one of the great things to do is to check with the organisers what the cut off point is and have a think about whether you're likely to be close to that cut off point. And I think for me, um, if you're, say you're doing a 10 mile race, for example, if you're likely to be overtaken in the first five miles by the sweeper bus, then you might want to consider doing a different type of race. If you're going to get taken over in the last nine miles, 10 miles, then it's not so much of a problem because, you know, chances are there's still going to be spectators, you know, the finishing gantry will be there and all of that. So I think it does take a little bit of common sense on our behalf to do a bit of research about the races and to work out which ones are suitable for your pace and which ones aren't. I've been Julie Crefield from the Fat Girls Guide to Running. You can find out more about coming last, sweeper vans and all sorts at www.twofactorun.co.uk. Please subscribe to the channel and yeah, tune in tomorrow for another video.